Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. I'm your co-host Calder Ness. This episode, we're going to be talking about our Hero Clicks Bets segment with special guest Ian Eggleston, as well as answering some listener questions. This is episode 416. Howdy, howdy. Let's get rowdy. So, if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional Hero Clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like a hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Oh, how many six yeah. people think I am funny? It's the hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which you absolute fools. It's not witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clips like that forever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey Google, the back somebody. Let the cat in here because he's a jerk. Wow, wow, wow. Dial H for Hero Clicks is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. We can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest Hero Clicks singles and sealed products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Joining me in the studio today, we have Ian Eggleston. Say hi, Ian. Hey, what's up, guys? And we have Simeon Bruce. What's going on, Simeon? You've seen me before. Seen you. We've heard you a oh. lot, sadly. I hope I, I prefer to see you less, if I'm being honest, if I had a choice. Yeah, it's um, all right. We like to start each week with what made us happy this week. Ian, you're the guest. Please go first. Well, uh, I think what made me happy this week is, you know, getting to work with the Dial H guys. Uh, I guess all I'll say is we have a lot of fun stuff coming, coming your way. And, uh, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to finishing these projects. But uh, this is definitely the highlight of my week, so... Nice. Happy to be here. Dope. I'm just happy to be here. We I might be reaching a new level of goofy that we've never reached before, and we've it's, done some goofy stuff. It's a little goofy. We've, we're, we've done some goofy stuff, and it's it's peaking. You could it say we might we're, be breaching the peak. I mean, we might yeah. be breaking the glass season. Se- ceiling. ceiling. <laughs> the ceiling. Glass as far season. as it's glass season. Goofy uh, people that play this game. I it's guess. glass season. It's rabbit season. It's glass season. Okay. <laughs> Same thing. Same thing. Um. Dang, I totally forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something like, ha, 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 something funny. And I was like, nah, Simeon started talking. I just lose all interest. And I just died. <laughs> uh, Simeon, <coughs> what made Sorry. you happy this week, my man? Oh, man. So coming down to Vermilion, what didn't make me happy? Um, pulling two rares and rainbow sealed was super cool. One of them was Captain John Walker with his shield, so I can't complain too much. Ah, uh, man. Running out of gas on the way back to Vermilion was yeah. You're super welcome. Cool. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, thank you, Ian, for not only that editing a lot clutch. of our videos, but also um, yeah, helping us as we were stranded in the middle of nowhere, uh, South Dakota, which is possibly the dangerous, most dangerous nowhere on the north the, side. The the plains is the most dangerous place to be lost in. You've got no resources. You've got no trees, you've got no mountains, you've got no hills. You're just out there by yourself. Coyotes just run up like... Hur, hur, and, just, and then, you know, this you morning, die. what really made me happy was um, I had breakfast at a hardware store. So, oh, like, you got to <laughs> stop talking smack about Mr. Smith like that, dude. They have yeah, some put some respect on put Mr. Some respect Smith. On Mr. I just Smith's love when name. I can pick up some quick crete, uh, like a concrete float, some self-tappers, and a like, sausage, egg, cheese, burrito all at the same time. Like that's just really that's nice. the American dream you're talking about. It right really now, is. Yeah. You know? So it sounds like I'm being sarcastic, but it actually is like one of the funniest and most. It's actually really good food too. The sandwich I got was amazing. There's the um, respect, and it's yeah, cheap. The Guido is what the like, name of the sandwich for. Was. How much you get? For yeah, what you pay for it, it's amazing. It's I incredible. finished like half my sandwich, and it was eight bucks. And I got like a two refills on my coffee because I need forty ounces before I do anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice. That actually did make me happy. Oh, good, good sandwich. Good, good. I was like, I was about to say, you were coming out the gate a little harsh there <laughs> for my boy, our boy, Mr. Smith. No, I also, I did um, get to hang out with, like, the Rainbow Kids. I always called them kids, but, like, man, I didn't know it was Mormon time as much until I went to Rainbow, and now I know it's Mormon time. It's Mormon time all the time. Yeah. Those kids, dude. They uh, they like their memes. What can you say? They're, they're fun little rascals. Uh, what made me happy this week... I, uh, earlier this week, I hate to say it, when, when you guys are like, man, when we spent time together today, that was pretty awesome, we were filming. I did like all of that, but I also finally convinced my girlfriend to watch Captain America, the first Avenger. And that Ooh, was pretty That okay. was pretty up there for me. <clears throat> like, wow. it, convincing uh, Love Your Life and Best Friend to watch Captain America, the first Avenger with you, when, like, 
I've slowly made her watch like Marvel movies, and it's like we're slowly getting there. Uh, it's pretty big, and I and I was like, so what'd you, what'd you think? It can what'd be an think? uphill battle it can, for a it lot of tough. people because it's it's like, aren't there like thirty of these? It's like yes, and that's the that's the fun part. That's the best. <laughs> that's the best part. Uh, so yeah, no, she really liked it. She's like, okay, I see why you like this guy. I see why you like this movie. And I was like, all right, good, thank you. It's like that's really the level of like understanding. Now it's like, all right, now I got him. And then you hit like, now like, you hit play again, and she was like, oh, we're gonna watch it again. And you said. I can do this all day. I can do this all day. <laughs> so, it was like, yeah. So you know, you like you talk through like some of the parts or like whatever. Like we are gonna have to watch the movie again and just like I noted the times. So I noted, we will be reviewing yeah. um, the Sound, footage that you missed. <laughs> Sound like a psychopath. So Remember when you like went to the wait. bathroom and told me not to pause it? I did pause it though. <laughs> Remember um, when you made fun of my belt buckle at a wedding? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You said it might not be appropriate for a wedding. You said it wasn't very fancy. But I feel um, like the first Avenger is always appropriate for all occasions. Uh, absolutely, of course. Um, but yeah, no, that was really awesome. I'm glad, I'm glad we had to do that, spend that time together. It's always fun, you know, doing things that I don't want to do. She's going to listen, so I'm going to give it up. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the bulk of the episode, and that is going to be our Hero Clicks Bets segment. To not just affect the now, but affect the future. We have financial guru advisor <laughs> yeah. Ian Eggleston <laughs> in the studio. Ian, you you popped on a few times. We've had we've done this segment yes, before. I have. Yeah, we skipped a couple um, sets. Give a little bit of a reminder for everybody what you typically like to do when it comes out for like release days because you're like market watch. Yeah, you know. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, tell us about Clicks Coin and why we should be investing in the newest crypto. Oh man, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Are my digital HeroClix codes from 2012 basically HeroClix NFTs? Okay. And how yeah. can I also so, my, my images of Clix, my Roll20 my images. NFT which, images? Which yeah. Brad Broyles Roll20 NFT HeroClix <laughs> images? Are worth the most. So the, the Hero Clicks NFTs that I sold you guys, I do promise they will make you millionaires. I don't want this to be, you know, as public of a thing. I kind of want to keep, you know, the wealth uh, consolidated. So I'm doing you guys a favor, mm-hmm. you know, listeners out there, I guess message me about about that. Well, don't really, actually do that, please. But. They're an investment because <laughs> yeah. when you when you invest in them and you pay million, millions of dollars for these uh, clicks NFTs, you get access to Discord where you can talk to the likes of, like, Dial H owner Elon Musk. Oh, true. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. He will sue you as soon as you try and communicate with him, as we found out. Yeah. But like other but that than unlocks that, another NFT. Yeah, yeah. You will. Also... <laughs> yeah, and it's like that's a cheap, uh, real life cheap NFT. I got <laughs> one of the rarest. Well, actually, no, one of the most common ones, I should say. Yeah, but really. still will make you a still, millionaire. Of course, of course, it's gonna make you a millionaire. Uh, no, obviously, the next set is coming out. We all just played pre-release for it. Well. Most of us played for yeah, this more. Yeah, 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 yeah. I uh, missed it. It was uh, it was Disney Plus. There's a ton of good hits in Disney Plus. There's obviously a set with equipment. Obviously a set with super rares. Obviously the price hike of the set. There's mm-hmm. just a lot going on. Uh, Ian, what do you think is going to affect the value of these figures more so than other sets that have come out? Like, what's the driving force? What makes Disney Plus unique? And why do you think figures can be more or less so expensive slash you know harder to get? Et yeah, absolutely. If that's a good way to start. I think can, so. Okay. Um, to actually answer your previous question, though, oh. just my background. Oh on yes, things, that's right. That's what actually, actually need that. Uh, you know, I <laughs> just want to clarify. I'm not the one calling myself the financial guru, but thank you for that. <laughs> um, no, uh, you know, it really just started. Like, I mean, ever since I was young, I've been playing the game since uh, release, and for whatever reason, I just I love to surf eBay. I I love to just you know look at prices of things is really what it boils down to and so a lot of the time I just have a really close eye on things and I consider myself to have a a pretty solid understanding of you know like fluid prices in terms of hero clicks and uh, you know where things will trend to and um, you know what's worth picking up in the now or the later and so uh, just to kind of start off the Disney Plus analysis going with that second question um, I guess we'll start with just the pros of the set and why I do think that this is a good set to pick up sealed product of. And so uh, the first pro of this is that it's a, it has excellent appeal for collectors and players. You know, a lot of this stuff we haven't seen, it's relevant to the new TV shows. So I think a lot of people who might not even play Hero Clicks might be a bit intrigued by this set as opposed to other ones. You know, it's relevant to media. 
And then so um, just kind of going into that as well, there's just good overall high value pieces. The chases, the super rares, and the primes are pretty much all excellent. Uh, there's excellent pack incentive with what Calder mentioned being the equipment, um, the god packs as well, obviously. And then uh, another cool thing that's new with this set is that the equipments come with different figures. So previously, you know, it's come with one figure and that's it. Whereas with this one, you know, even rares, uh, some primes, they're coming with equipment that you might see elsewhere. And so that's really good for, you know, somebody especially starting off. You know, equipment is a very important part of the game. You see the Mandarin rings, for example, getting played all the time. And so being able to access them more easily uh, is definitely beneficial for a lot of players. Yeah. And Imagine, it, like, the Power Gem, for example. Um, like, a figure, Namor, came with Power Gem. Uh, did not go for a ton at the beginning because no, it wasn't until the rules changed where, like, range combat expert and close combat expert really boosted stuff. Like, once it started working with, you know, hypersonic, random shot, all that stuff. Um, but take that, for example. If that object had come with Namor and let's say, like, Astronomer, like, they both came with that object, it wouldn't have hit that, like, $50 mark that it was at no, one point. No, I, I like, don't you think would have so. Had, you would have had two options. It would have been way more common. Um, but, yeah, this set is, I think, what we said, like, two objects only come with one figure. Uh, the objects that only come with one figure, I believe, is the U.S. Agent Shield, mm -hmm. the Cloak with the Super Rare Spider-Man, and then Red Wing Super Rare uh, oh, yeah, with the Falcon. Only comes yep. with Falcon, yeah. The so, Super Rare Falcon, excuse so there's, me. Yeah, there's three objects that only come with... Other, otherwise, they all double dip, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I really like that change. Like, seriously, especially in today's game, you know, whether you're casual or competitive... Does uh, the Tesseract... So I, Sorry, it's only no, President Loki. It, it's only President Loki. Oh, the Tesseract's only Tesseract only pre President oh, Loki. Okay. I forget about that one. Yeah, I've seen a pop up thing. It's yeah, the <laughs> worst object in the set. Like, it's not too hot. <laughs> it's just plain old phasing with like a prob attached and like technically dimensional watches. So like the only double ups are like Captain America Shield, the Super Soldier Serum, and the Darkhold. Is that really it? Then there's actually only three that double. No, up? also the um, Captain Carter Shield. Captain Carter yeah, Shield. Come yep, there you the go. Prime and the uh, non-prime. Yeah, so Captain America Shields obviously John Walker and then Chase uh, Sam Wilson. Right. And then both Captain Carters that are super rares get her shield. Both What's-Her-Faces, Sharon Carters, get Super Soldier Serum. Darkhold comes with. And the Darkhold comes with both Chase. Witches. Yeah, Agatha, both witches. Agatha, Scarlet Witch. And, yeah, yep. Scarlet Witch. Okay, yeah. Which they're still going to be a little bit less like out there, but like I feel like that's one that no one will split up. And with, like, a chase object, yeah. you know, especially one that I consider to be, you know, pretty strong, um, it's really nice that it does come with both figures, especially because they utilize it. Like, if only one of them came with it, that would have been yeah. super lame, Absolutely. you know. So I'm really, yeah. I'm really hoping that they continue uh, with this change. I hope future sets that do have equipment, I'd like to see them with multiple figures because uh, it can be so hard to obtain things, you know, looking at, like, Soul Gem with Doctor Strange, like, the price for that just got yeah. ridiculous, and uh, the Doctor Strange it came with was just, I mean, he was terrible. Almost bad. unplayable, yeah. yeah. Same, I mean, Space Gem, Iron Man was no good. No. Um, but, I mean, yeah, that, that Doctor like Strange no Iron outpaced, Man. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, the prime of that was Baron Mordo, who couldn't even be played with an object, I don't think. He no. didn't, like, have, like, I mean, you he could equip nothing. him. Normally, oh, sure, yeah. But you couldn't start him with one, which was weird for that set. Well, he but, wasn't an Illuminati dude. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, that um, he wasn't an elder either. Uh, so, like, that Baron Mordo, like, dropped in price so fast as that Strange just, like, skyrocketed and, like, topped out at, like, 75 for a while. Yeah, oh, like, it was, it like, it was like $100, yeah. you know, even. Oh, my gosh. I'm talking, like, first week, I think. It, it was oh, yeah. still, like, it hit, like, 75 pretty fast, and then it, like, held... Around opening higher. day, he was selling for like 40 bucks, and I was like, oh, do I bite this bullet? And thankfully, I did, because, oh my, <laughs> it only got worse. And even now, like with rotation coming up, like I, I haven't seen a cheap soul gem in No, in a while. and with no. silver, that's another thing that we have to keep in mind with this. Yeah. And like, so, Absolutely. in speaking of like, you know, biting the bullet, taking stuff on like the nose, um, buying hero clicks like on release because they might get more expensive down the line. That's kind of what this segment is about, uh, kind of like prepping people for buying stuff at like high price or, you know, being like sell, sell, sell right now, buy it later. Um, 
but yeah, with silver in mind, like nothing that nothing going forward will ever like fully rotate out of existence. It will always be in hero clicks in some capacity. Right. It'll always be usable in some capacity. It'll also be backward compatible. So sh- stuff that comes out in this set, like the Cloak of Levitation, for example, will be playable in silver as soon as this set is legal. And so that's something that can be added to silver teams that might have needed a sidestep flight. Yeah. Might have needed plasticity, like whatever. Um, I don't see stuff like the Darkhold getting added to like a silver age team necessarily but like sure. shields like the three shields are all good um you know there's just it's stuff that will be permanent and you do have to take that into account when it comes to quote unquote investing in like these new sets and so with, oh sorry well with that i was just gonna say we could just move into like talking about the rares going through the set you know we we had it open people understand like what makes this set different than other yeah. sets so I was saying we just start getting into the meat of it. You know, we take. A I look. do have one more thing Go to add, um, just in terms of objects. I did reference like the mana rings and then the gems here. Obviously, all of them are you know pretty strong. Some more than others, but uh, with all of that rotating, you know, we see eight in this set, and so a bulk of the equipment that you'll be able to work with in modern play, which is still the prevalent format, um, you know, that just makes these objects worth that much more because when you're working in modern. This is about half the objects of what you're going to be able to use. So, yeah. It is just this future foundation of Wonder Woman. So, Mm -hmm. once rotation, yeah. The other uh, just like quick pros of the set is that there's a lot of uh, really strong figures in the CUR that you'll see. Like, um, more than usual. I think, uh, you know, the Spooktaculars, for example, are just fantastic. And a lot of the rares are just really, really cool, too. So, once again, looking at that collector aspect... Uh, I think the rares in this set are just excellent. Some of the most solid rares in any set I've seen in like a long yeah, time, dude. Absolutely. Zombie Cat, Billy, uh, Sylvie, well, not Sylvie, John Walker, USA, <laughs> but like Pietro. Like, I Miss mean, all Minutes, the, too, and yes, Party Thor. Miss like, Minutes, Party Thor. Strong is dials good. or yeah. cool characters. You know, once again, hitting that collector itch, I guess. Because there are people out there who, you know, they don't play. Yeah. And so this is just a lot of unseen stuff. And so I am really excited for the CUR, but you know, we will focus today primarily on the super rares and chases. Um, yeah. To just go over a few cons, it'll be brief here. Uh, there was a price increase with the set, which Calder noted earlier. A huge bummer for me personally was the no legacy cards. I did want to see some legacy cards in the set. I do have a theory about why they didn't. I mean, it's not necessarily a theory, and it's more so like just the probability of it. Um, with this being a Marvel IP that isn't attached to comics, if Disney's attached, because Disney owns like MCU, but they don't own Marvel Comics, right? Or do they just own the whole thing? They own Marvel. I think period. I believe they bought the. They bought just Marvel own Marvel. Marvel, Marvel. Yeah. Marvel. So like you, you do have like Marvel, like Star Wars comics and stuff now, which is exciting. That like that's potentially in the future. Um, I think that. Whether it was, like, the licensing issue, if Marvel came out and said, like, hey, uh, we're not going to do legacy stuff because this is MCU, this is Disney+, Plus, this is not, like, backwards, you know, we're not going to reach to, like, uh, let's say, Avengers, like, the Avengers set with, like, the uh, Scarlet Witch and Vision duo. Like, we're not going to oh, grab sure. that mm. because that's comic-based where this is, like, oh, okay. this is our, like... This is our movie, like, animated, whatever, our Disney Plus based. And so I feel like maybe part of the reason why they didn't legacy card a lot of it, or any of it, there was no legacy cards for the set. And there's a ton of that they could have pulled. You know, right. They could have done Iron Kang Man for Loki. Event. Well, I mean, they could have done, like, just movies. Oh, they could have done based movies. On that. Oh, yeah, that would have been a, like, a really cool idea. They could have done, like, Ultron Prime. Avengers, well, you know, Age maybe not Prime, Civil The War. Hulkbuster, Iron Man, <sighs> Hulkbuster, that would have been cool to see thing. reappear. Yeah. But no, that was a I, chase, so I like, feel like they would never do a chase. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, never. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just like, saying it's lame. <laughs> not, not before Avengers Forever, no. no. Um, but no, I, I think part of the reason is just because it gets real sticky, reaching back and grabbing previous sets. Like it would have been cool to get some like Guardians of the Galaxy movie sets, That'd or been awesome. even yeah. even getting a new and like this is a set well, that I hate. Thor Ragnarok was like a bad <sighs> set overall. It was a bad gravity feat. Yeah. But could you imagine getting like, some legacy, legacy cards? Legacy Mail Kith, though, for that set? No. Pretty good. What? 
Yep. Okay. Wasn't that that was the set with like Doug's Ragnarok. Army tour? No, Ragnarok, the movie Ragnarok. Oh yeah, oh, Ragnarok. I, think Dark oh, I was World. thinking Dark World. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. On Dark World. No, getting Doug's Army back would be great. Yeah, and that'd yeah, be cool. I'd love Doug's Army back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was it called Ragnarok or was it called? It was Ragnarok. It was Ragnarok. Yeah, yeah, the we movie were, was. I don't know. Ragnarok. I don't know why. Yeah, you guys yeah, were both we on the clearly the better movie. No, obvious, dude. Obvious. That was like the everyone's like seventy five or hundred point set. And then, like, the Thor was like, I can knock people back. And Two I get a free attack, somebody. And, like, awesome. and so, like, he worked with the the Hulk that also knocked people back. Like, you could get free attacks and knock people back. And it was kind of cool. But then at the same time, it was, like, it just never worked. Yeah. And it was also, like, over-costed. It, it would have been cool to get some of those sculpts, like, legacy carded. It would have been cool seeing it, like, they clearly didn't know he was going to get, like, lightning powers when they were making the set. Like, right. all oh, of that. He should have right? been a chase. So... Well, they didn't them, have super rares in that set. They didn't so. have super rares. Well, it's gravity feed. Um, yeah. But yeah. those kinds, they didn't have super rares typically. It was right. rares, commons, and chases. But, like, they could have made, like, one of those Thors be, like, lightning control Thor, you know? Like a trade or something. Something, yeah. like, easy like that. I'm uh, not just the god of hammers. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, that would have been really cool. Um, seeing, like, a... Uh, yeah, I guess Loki was fine. They could have made Hela, like, a beastier, like, way better. Yeah, that would have been know? cool. That would have been pretty sweet. It's, it's, it goes the same way where I said, like... I picked that one Star Lorder. I picked that one Star Lord that I was like, wouldn't it be great if they made this to Dairy Queen Manager Star Lord? And I was like oh, talking yeah. through like how his dial could totally be Dairy Queen Manager. I would I would love for that. <laughs> they to legacy happen. carded it to be from Disney Plus. To be from Disney Plus. Like yeah. that would be really cool. You know? Like you could do that with like nah, because the only Thor was Party Thor and we already got him. But like there is like some like handful of other characters that you could like try to get. Like uh, first Avengers movie, Captain America, make him like the version of Captain America where it's like just him and Carol are the Avengers. Like, that's it during that one what if. Yeah. Like, that'd been pretty neat. But, anyways, there are no legacy cards in this set. So, let's, <laughs> yeah. uh, let's yeah. get a pass. Let's get over it. Uh, um, distribution would be the last thing to touch on. Oh, yeah. And so, um, I think typically with this set, like from what I have seen, is that it looks like it's pretty close to one chase per brick. I have seen some chaseless bricks, which, you know. It's usually There's, a super rare prime if it's yeah, no chase. Yeah, takes the place. I've seen the prime yeah. carter, but there is apparently a power broker brick floating around Ooh. that Oof. does not come with a chase. That is the only distribution I've seen with no chase, but every other one I've seen uh, it appears that there's a chase in there. So In a case. Yeah. And then... Uh, no, in a brick. In a brick. In a brick, yeah. In a brick, yeah. Dang. And so, then, like, brick-wise, yeah. very solid set. Yeah. As long Three as you're super rares is standard, too. So far, and I know we see more of them because they're constantly being posted, you know? People are constantly joining the club that yeah. is of getting a god pack. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the club. <laughs> yeah. So, no but, but anyways, like... <laughs> I know we're just seeing a lot of those because people are obviously posting as soon as they yeah. get one and we're not seeing every time someone does. Like, obviously yeah, show like me your more. rare pack. Yeah, yeah, show me, show your, me pack. your rare. Well, and also, like, like, if I pull a dud brick, that's not something I... I, I complain about it with the locals right. and I like this and that. It. I don't post about it. I'm not going like, to so, get everyone hyped up and two, be like, time to time to form a class action lawsuit. Okay. Like, you know. We're taking a little too many shots here. <laughs> I will say... Um, Whatever. Uh, it, it can make people think that there are more god packs than there actually are. Just yes. people like posting them. It was and... very similar with World's Finest. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And yeah. then the uh, the Batman set as well. I mean, also, every time we've had a Ultra Chase. True. You see so many That's people post true. Ultra Chases. Uh, but, like, in reality, it is actually rarer than... Super hard to get. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you've got that vocal minority, as we've like heard in other <laughs> circumstances. Yeah. But that vocal minority that pulls the good stuff, they share it because it's cool. Uh, you share your Ultra Chase. You share your God Pack. You don't share, like... I mean, maybe you share... I got Chase Loki. Like, I got yeah. uh, just Something just simple. regular Sicarian Iron Man. People, like, scroll past, like, yeah, whatever, man. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Luckily, but, uh, in a yeah. couple weeks, there will be that HC Realms thread that is completely, like... Oh, do you... The pull and... Yeah, what'd you pull? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what'd you no, pull? No, not, not Pump and Sorry. Dump. Pump and Sorry. Dump's already been done. That's like, right. Because the set's been released for a while. Right, it's a list. That's right. Yeah, it's it's a what you pull, what you play. I think is what it's called, and that usually gets some pretty good traction too. Yeah, that's it, fun. It tracks like the brick distribution really well. Definitely so, check it out if you haven't. Uh, general forum thread yeah. on HC Realms worth yeah. digging through if you're interested in seeing distributions for the set. Right after release day, it's usually like at the highest. Yeah. Um, for Empire, that's where I figured out like the Prime Captain Marvel almost always comes with the Venom Magneto case. Not oh, necessarily sure. brick, but case. Prime Pym 
always comes with venom and you don't a brick, right? I believe so. Uh, not always. Not always. That was a variation. That of was a variation. Yeah, okay. There's, there's, there's a couple. So I have been you chasing know, Venom Magneto. So there is like a couple times where uh, I've I've looked through that and like there's a few variations. I think there's like four full variations. But for Disney Plus, we have yet to actually like see like you know what's in the other side of the God Pack. I think. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if we know that yet. But have anyhow. we seen any variations on the God Pack? I know I really hate. No, I don't. Pro I don't it think is, so. It is always the same. Um, okay, it's been the same. Yeah, Prime Carter has been in every single one, and then That's what is it? Sakarian Iron the Man, Chase. Set. So it's Sakarian uh, Loki. Oh, okay, duh. Um, it's yeah. So Prime Carter, Sakarian Iron Man, Loki, Collector, and what's the other? Collector's one? in the loose booster. So in the loose oh, booster. Yeah, 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 it is yeah. included in the brick, just not in that pack. Gamora. Oh, Gamora, daughter of Thanos, yep. which makes sense that she comes with the Iron Man. And then what's the last one? It's uh, Gamora, Ultron. Iron Ultron. Man. Uh, it's Ultron. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, Ultron. it's Ultron. So there you go. Prime, does that then? I mean, Prime. But, yeah. So it leaves out a few chases. Agatha, Scarlet Witch, and, and Falcon. Falcon. Yeah. All specifically, all of the um, live not, action. Yeah, not characters animated or not in it. So. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah. So the last thing for distribution is equipment. Which we've seen roughly two to four per brick. So you could get half the equipment in one set. I believe in your guys' unboxing. We had four. You guys had four, we had right? Four. We had Carter. Out of a brick. Yeah, Carter, Carter Loki, um, John, John, and John, the chick, Sharon. Yeah, so Sharon, I mean, there John, you go. Carter, Loki. Like yeah. getting half the equipment from a set in one brick, I mean, that is, that's, I think the highest previously was two. So yeah. that's I mean, fantastic that's as well. Exactly. And Wonder Woman, I know. Well, Wonder Woman, I think hit like three in some occasions. Oh, sure. Because you could. There was like the boomerang, or not boomerang. The uh, angle, the angler. Angler. Uh, the oh, angler yeah, yeah. was fairly common. Um, the lasso. lasso was fairly common because those were both rares. So you could easily get three in Wonder Woman, but I don't think I. I pulled a lot of Wonder Woman. I don't think I ever got four in Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. um, but no, that brings me to a good point, which is uh, equipment. Is important. We have twenty swords coming out, and the set after Worth this. Worth noting. <laughs> yes, make a note of that. So there are going to be twenty versions of Blades, Claws, Fangs coming out <laughs> with some added, who knows what, um, but blades for sure. Uh, in addition to that, come what July, we won't have any of the gems in modern. Uh, we won't have. What else do we lose? All the Mandarin rings. We lose all the Mandarin rings. Yeah, all the WKO. stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, Exospecs lasted a long time. Forever, dude. I mean, forever. Yeah, we had a weird like while where we we just kept stuff, and then they were like, "Yeah, it's all gone. It's all gone. Let's go." Including right. WWE. Yeah. Ugh, don't remind me. Yeah. All right, Stabbing let's uh, chesty and let's beat. let's jump into this set. Yeah, absolutely. Go on. So yeah. I think uh, you know we'll just start with talking about the high rarity figures that are worth talking about. And the first one on that list, in my opinion, is the Prime U.S. Agent. And so the reason I think he's worth talking about is going back to a point we said earlier where his equipment only comes with him. And for those who don't know, uh, the shield gives combat reflexes for five points. If you already have combat reflexes, it gives you an additional plus one. Um, it's definitely good. I don't know how relevant that is in the metagame. Um, but being that it is an equipment that only comes with one figure and it is a prime, I think he'll probably stick around like a $30 price tag yeah, after everything's said and done. 30 35 yeah. You look um, at the alchemical fire from Future Foundations, oh, yeah. which was the first prime object we saw, and uh, that came with Diablo, yeah, Diablo yeah, Prime. One of the Diablos, yeah. And, uh, you know, that object, I mean, for a while, he was $15, $20. Yeah, I, pick, I remember that because I picked one up for So it's hard to call like the prime 15. objects. And now it's a staple for certain builds. It's a it's always been a good object, but like when you have free attacks, it's yeah. an even better object. It's insane. Um, no, for this I will say like just on the chance that this object becomes really good with one specific figure, most of the like competitive community, which is a very small minority of the community, it's yeah. like maybe like I'll say three hundred ish. Like people, I don't know, something like that. This object will be necessary to have in your arsenal. Like, you'll have it, like, you'll be the collector. You'll have, like, your wall of, like, all the things I could use. And this will sure. be one of them. And it's good to have those objects if you're going to play in competitive because you never know when you're going to need, like, 
who would have guessed that the power gym, like going back to that, who would have guessed that that would have been the best yeah, object the best. after Wonder Woman dropped? Like nobody had that like pinned as like, oh, oh. yeah, this $15 figure and gem it's good, it's just, you know, I don't always need a plus one to damage. And it's like, all of a sudden you have a plus one attack and plus two to damage on whichever figure you choose, and that was huge. Um, so maybe combat reflexes, I mean, not. it's not going to get changed anytime soon, but maybe it becomes, like, a bigger deal with, like, some sort of... Yeah, maybe there's that good combo with it. So, right. Simeon, are you looking at picking up this guy on day one, or are you looking to wait on him? It depends on what his price is day one. Okay. Because this is a figure that, like... What if, would you pay for him day one? So, yeah, day one... I'm around $30. I'm I around, think that's about where he settles. That's about what I would pay for him. But day one, he's going to be like close to like 50 I feel like. Yeah, yes, so he's no. a he's I, a I day one pass for me. Yeah. I'm probably waiting on him. I yeah. think there will be a lot floating around. And, Definitely you know, don't do anything crazy. What he is, are, is he's a keep tough. if I pull him. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh absolutely. Easy. He's yeah. so cool. <laughs> yeah, he's so, a keep if I pull him. Like So, yeah, that's the other thing is... Um, Unlike some of the figures that come with objects, he's actually really good with his object. He's actually just really good for 50 points. He might not be the prime that I'm running, but maybe there's that like team that just really works with his keywords, or maybe there's that team that just really gets a good boost from him. And yeah, he's something that like if I pull, I'm not gonna sell it for thirty five, yeah, forty. I would keep him. I'm going yeah. to keep it. But I'm not I'm not racing out to get him. No, I'm not I'm not picking one up on eBay or Augs don't like, don't look at me like for, that uh, <laughs> for like seventy five dollars. It was or whatever. for charity. Uh, yeah, it was for charity. It was eighty bucks. Thank it did, you. Well, seventy five and shipping or whatever. Eighty eighty ish. Shipping for charity. charity. Shipping yeah. for charity, dude. Shipping for charity. Hey, it was the one Scott Porter pulled. All right, that's iconic. But and even though he didn't sign it, didn't sign. And I want to cry mm-hmm. myself to sleep every night because he didn't sign a freaking <laughs> U.S. agent. It's all I wanted him to do was okay. you know, sign the one he pulled. Any second, we'll have a knock on the door, and he'll be like, "Hey, everybody, that's in this room." Welcome, I'm Scott Porter. I'm here to sign that figure. Yes, I'm sure he will, dude. I'm sure, I'm sure he will. Well, you ruined the surprise, Simeon. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Scott Porter's like waiting outside. He's got like balloons. He's like, oh. Actually, <laughs> hangs his head in shame. Like, I quadrupled his away. cameo fee for him to fly here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, moving on, the next figure uh, that will probably be a very similar discussion here is the Spider-Man uh, Super Rare, <sighs> which features the Cloak of Levitation, which... Uh, Arguably is the best object in the set. Yeah. It's definitely up there. That and Peggy's two, if not shield. one. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty. Yeah, I mean the Darkhold is pretty solid. Darkhold too. Yeah, but like this Five is the points this for is the only step flight plasticity. Like yeah. you're making any figure you want a utility it's figure. It's five points, it's, right? And yeah, it's, it's triple power. There's no other object in the uh, set that see, does you a need to learn between a power and ability. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, flight uh, is an ability. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, <laughs> big old dummy. Leech can't take flight away. That's be, for sure. Big dumb dumb. Stupid. Uh, no, so but, the Spider Man, like, I mean, he's hardly even worth yeah, talking about. He, he's but bad. the object he comes with, like, guys, we talked about it a little bit earlier. This could be a Doctor Strange soul gem situation. This is like, you know, objects come with multiple figures. This is not the case for this one. It only comes with this Spider Man. He's a super rare. You know, how many distributions is this specific super rare in? It's tough to tell. So this is a figure that, you know, once again, depending on that release day price, I'm probably looking pretty heavily at buying on, like, day one, day I'm, two. I'm buying for, I say max is, like, 45 but that's because I'm, you know, I'm clicking on a budget. Like, I'm not He's I'm great. not really looking for, like, high-priced figures. But I'm, I'm paying for about $45. Um, I'd the, agree with that. The I think thing that's is... Fair. Like if you can get it cheaper, obviously do, and then if you do pull it, hold it. Yeah, like, do hold not sell that it. object because once the set sells out, which it definitely will sell out, uh, that object becomes like harder to find and harder to find. And then once it starts, you like people start using it on figures and start winning with it, it's going to be more and more in demand. Once we get another rotation and like the objects are just this and like swords and stuff, it's it going to be even be. more in yeah. demand mm-hmm. and like. You know, it's one of the few You're things... You're looking at, like, a two-year period, realistically, here. Well, is there anything that gives flight currently? No. Objects-wise, like, it's all rotate. Like, none no. of the gems did. None of the rings did. No, last thing that gave that was flight Earth X. was... Like the uh, beetle was pod. Beetle pod and the glider. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah. this is one of those few things that, like, what's a what's a good figure that doesn't have flight? Like, Flash? Like, you're not equipping Flash. No. Don't lie to me like this. You're not equipping he, he Flash. Flash, but, like, he's fine. <laughs> But like I mean, uh, like that's really solid. Lockjaw, like 
Uh, you're not. I mean, these are attacks. These Why are you saying like the worst possible one? I mean, Lockjaw is good. Being yeah, double base and being able to turn one. Yeah, yeah, you go turn one with like an alpha. Like, yeah, going 16 squares instead of 14 tempo, you're going 17. I don't know. That's all right, yeah. I guess. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Overrated is my opinion. Just kidding. <laughs> if you're carrying no, Leech, though, uh, and he doesn't take away that flight, it helps a lot when you can't phase. Let's get yeah. Let's keep let's keep moving. No, <laughs> we I don't want to go too specifically spendy. into things. Sure. Yeah, but this is uh you know like if it's within the means you know depending on where you play hero clicks at you know what. You as know. far as investing, yeah. I think if you pay forty five dollars today, you will have a, that a or piece more that in you the can future. sell for and use really. at least forty five dollars a year from now. Like I don't see something bettering or like making this object even so just bad. on like the casual front. There's four figures in the set that use the That's Cloak of too. Levitation. And, like, you know, the only reason I was able to beat, like, a Doctor Strange there's, Supreme is because he couldn't fly. And there's five. Stuff, there's, you know? there's four. You know? There's Wait, four. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's Spider-Man, Doctor Strange Supreme, and then there's a Supreme, like, L.E. Oh, maybe it's only three, I guess. Never mind. Spider-Man, the Strange Spider Supreme, Man, the L.E. Day, oh, yeah. The other Spider-Man. Yeah, there's two Spider-Mans, two Doctor Stranges. They can both use it. Yeah, so. No, it's good. Okay. Uh, let's jump. Yeah, the next figure, uh, the Prime Captain Carter. This is a similar situation, guys. So primes are tricky because, you know, you can only play one. There can only be one, right? That's right. And so she does come with an incredible equipment, but so does the super rare. So in this instance, like, what would really drive her price is her specifically being good. Because if you can pick up the shield from the super rare, you know, that's not this unique drive like it is with Spider-Man. And so... This is a figure where I'd be on the fence about picking it up day one. Like, once again, it's really going to depend on the price. But with primes, typically, you see their price fall because there's always more primes coming out. There's always a new hotness there. And with you only also, being able to play one, you have to it's, keep in mind this limited. Captain Carter comes with the God Pack. And without oh, fully true. knowing how prevalent the God Packs are, like, you know, we, we could speculate and say it's like one in every 10 cases that gets opened. Yeah, uh, but we don't really know. Like it seems like there's been a lot, but again, who hard knows? To tell. Who knows? Because yeah, because people are more likely to post when they pull a god pack than when they pull just a random brick. Uh, like Rainbow, we pulled a Chase Loki. We didn't make a Facebook post and be like, "Look at the blue plastic!" Wow, welcome to the club. We didn't do that. No, we didn't. We wouldn't. Uh, but anyhow, no, we wouldn't. Uh, this Captain Carter comes with each one of those. Every single one of those is going to have one of these, which. Definitely increases how much how many figures are available out there with her, uh, the prime at least. Um, I mean, Captain Carter boils down to like number one, she's like a thousand times better than her non-prime counterpart. It's like yeah. laughably oh, yeah. how much better, and just by being Stupid. cheaper, she is. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, she has keyword cheating. Like she gives soldier and spy getting shield keyword. So like she's definitely adds. good, but. She's not a definitive prime, so I'm gonna say nah. that this is probably one I'm leaning more towards waiting on. I, I would sell I right agree. away if you pull it. Yeah, I think it'll. I think the price will go down. Yeah, yeah. I think her shield is good, but since you get the shield with the non-prime, mm -hmm. there's yeah. just no reason to chase the prime. Not for a while. Yeah. Uh, the next figure that I'd like to talk about is Vision, and so I'm I'm a little biased here. I love Vision. Prime I think Vision, awesome. Uh, just the regular, oh, regular Vision. Vision. Yeah. Okay. Regular and Vision. so this is a bit of a niche case, but you know he does have some cool celebrity retail. And uh, for those who don't know, uh, 15 Point Marvella from the Spider-Man Venom and Carnage set makes celebrities Spider-Man family. She's only 15 points. And so being able to keyword cheat into celebrities and then whatever else with another Spider-Man chase is going to be something I think you'll see a lot. And so uh, fitting Vision on a celebrity team or Spider-Man family team I think will be pretty easy. He's got a pretty cool retail. I don't know how effective that'll be, but I could see... You know, or like some rare cases of playing him in multiples. Uh, you know, possibly. Once again, probably not a figure I'm like racing to get day one. But I think he is a figure that has potential to go up in the future. So this is one where it's, you know, watch for him. Get a good deal on him. Because he might be something in the future. Celebrity has been ramping up. In this set oh, especially. Yeah. Oh, buffs yeah. celebrity a lot. Oh, so yeah. I, I agree with everything. I agree There's with like every character in the set that has celebrity. celebrity. Mm -hmm. Like. They Whatever. have potential. The celebrity uh, the keywords Wanda's, getting dangerous. Agnes, like those are all just like celebrity keywords just going up in price, um, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. So, but that's um, about it for Vision. I agree. I'll, I'll also say he's one of the fewest 
one of the few figures that has a stop click on the damage power instead of the defense power. Oh, cool. That is huge. And so that's like stuff like Fulcum, things that like... Look at that uh, in like silver, with like Green Arrow and like whatever else. What's know? the... Yeah, Green yeah. Arrow. Yeah. yeah. So like there's very few figures that just Surter don't die definitely. from that. Yeah. yeah. Like Surter, yeah. So Surter. they ignore his defense powers, but he'll still hit that stop because it's on his damage. And that's... Yeah. It's rare, so it's... I don't know if that's big enough for him to be competitive in like silver yeah. or anything, but it's definitely worth looking at, especially with that celebrity. He's mind. a figure to look at, and if you can get a good deal on him, I think he's a figure worth owning. Uh, the next one is Prime Vision, and this one <laughs> is probably, I mean, the this most the subjective one, one because yeah. I've been playtesting him personally, and uh, you know he's being uh, spoken about as like the Thanos killer. And for those of you who are outside of like meta talk. Uh, Thanos is, he's running things. He's a nasty piece. He's showing up about 50% of all builds that are in, like, the top eight. Yeah. yeah. Which is pretty yeah. big. One of the biggest things about Thanos is he's got, like, free phasing, and then he's got um, improved targeting through basically anything and everything, which is garbage. But, you know, that's that's a, aside the point. The reason why this vision can kind of disrupt that is he's got a trait that gives him plasticity, and then... Adjacent opposing characters can't use approved abilities, so that includes flight, that includes targeting. If he's next to a Colossal, they can't shoot at him. They can't use that improved targeting to shoot at, like, characters that are adjacent to him. It's a very strong ability. It's a very good trait. But once again... something you can't get rid of. He's a prime. His keywords are very weak. And, like, right now, you know, you look on Facebook and people are asking... Sword is non-existent. That 175, is, I don't 135, even know. 150, like... Can you even run a high right now? Right now? I honestly don't think he's going to stay I don't think though. he's selling. I don't I, think he's staying around there. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. I, You had mentioned, like, he gets... He drops pretty fast. You take three damage, and it's like, I paid 200 for this. Yeah. yeah. So I think, realistically, where he'll end up if he does see play is probably that 50-point line. But once again, you're sacrificing the prime and his keywords, like robot and sword. I could do the doesn't have a lot to work with there. Point line for like instead of like Emperor Gladiator, I could see him being an equal hundred point line. Um, so like we're not going to get all into the dial, but like True. essentially he's got a full move where he can then flurry. His values aren't as good as Emperor Gladiator's no, for hundred points. Definitely not. Um, he does have two rollouts plus protected outwit, invincible super senses, willpower. So he's got like a lot of good stuff going for him. The rest of his dial isn't protected out with though. So a strong mm-hmm. counter to him is literally anyone without wit that gets rid of his speed power. And then it's like, what are you doing? And you just, I just keep turning back to the prime slot. Like with what you're getting for him, and with what Simeon's saying, with how easy he is to counter, I'm just not sure how much he'll really stick and be relevant. So this is another figure where. Sell I hate now. to say it, but I'd, I'd sell him right away, and I'd look to pick him up later because yeah. I think people are going to forget about him. I will say with the Exo Swords set coming out, and we've got like a guaranteed, what, four-ish, like probably solid Danger Room robots. Mm-hmm. Uh, Master Mold still in the fold. A can't solid... play Prime Mad Thinker, though. Yeah, you can't play like one of the better robot primes, but like this is one of the most solid robots we've seen in a while. I'd agree with that. He's very yeah. solid. He can take a hit at 100 points. Um, you could one-shot him at yeah. 50 points. Like, it's not outside of the realm of possibility. I would definitely sell him if you can pick him up for, what would we say? Like, I would say if you can find one, and I don't think you could, but if you could find one for $75 today. That's about what I'd be, I'd buy probably that. like my top dollar for him would be about 75 Because I think bucks. in two years I could sell him for 75 Like I think he'll drop yeah. to that at some point. He might, I mean he won't probably drop lower because there's only two Super Air Primes. But he's a hot topic so I think definitely sell now, pick up later. And I mean depending on like what swords do, depending on what you know comes out in other sets, you know maybe He could get Master passed by really plus easily. this guy like... It, you know, it's possible that like he just, it's possible he gets way better. It's possible he ends up being Both, like yeah. a terrible, a terrible prime at some point. Uh, next up, the super rare Falcon with the red wing. Once again, guys, it's a super rare. The only figure that comes with an object. 
I think the object's personally pretty good. We don't have to go into a ton of detail on that. I'd rather know. not. I think we're spending a lot of time talking yeah. about each figure. No, and I want to go into, into how Red Wing like... can be equipped to the Legacy Modoc. That's what I want to go into. Okay. Anyways, we'll do that some other time. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so it's a similar story, guys. Uh, Red Wing is a figure that, I'll be honest, I once again, I don't think I'm buying him right away. I think uh, he'll be a figure that, you know, his price will stagnate pretty quickly. And then people who want the Red Wing Bystander, will, will they'll pick up the Red Wing Bystander, you know. Are you paying 65 points to have a figure that has willpower as its defense power top dial? And is Probably only seven clicks not. Long? I mean, Red Wing is very Falcon cool. is Falcon's rough. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Falcon's rough. I still like the dial. I mean, I do the write-up for it. Like, I still like the ebb and flow of his dial. Oh, yeah. It's like, cool. reference to, like, the Winter Soldier super air. But, yeah. Also, like, Red with, Wing is the With get. some of these equip, like, pre-equipped characters, you're not not paying the five points for Red Wing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so you're just probably not ever equipping him with something it's, that makes him last longer. It's like Red Wing being well, with like like you said, Modoc, but also like that Chase Captain America being as good as he is. Like you might as well just toss Red Wing on there because it's free. It's free yeah. to have Red that Wing. That is true. true. Yeah. If you are planning on keeping that Chase Captain America, that Sam Cap, you're going to have to have this super rare. So that is, yeah. that does probably affect his price because this is this super rare is the only instance of Red Wing being with a figure. Um, yeah, uh, you know, it just really boils down to, uh, like, I think I think this object is good. I think it's, like, an above-average object. I think it's one that could potentially see play. But uh, we've never seen an object that generates a bystander I just don't see his price moving up very the, much. Oh, what's the, the Mysterio thing? Mysterio one, yeah. The yeah. illusion generator. Yeah. Is that it? I think that's, that might be it. That yeah. generates a It doesn't bystander. happen all very long. Uh, yeah. No. It's a, it's a really cool one, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think it's not cloak of levitation. That is what I'll say. I also don't think it's the cap shield in terms of usefulness. So you're looking at like maybe thirty. It costing ten points sucks. I would pay probably. It costs ten points. It costs ten Instead points. Five. It doesn't cost five. Yeah, I'd pay ten. probably thirty. Thirty dollars is probably what I'd be willing to I, give so up. So with now. the fact that the chase can start I would equipped, that. I think thirty would be my max, and that's assuming that I'm going to use the chase at any point. Because I, I mean, the chase is very casual. He's very cool. I don't know if I'm ever playing him competitively. Chase Falcon? Yeah. yeah. He could. You know, I mean, he's no, got potential. I'm not saying that he I, I would like to try to build something with him. I like him. I like his like mini Nightcrawler ability. Yeah, well, you, yeah. you hate America. Shout so out Web funny. of Spider-Man I, Nightcrawler. <laughs> what? I think of anyone at this table, I think I love America the most. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. probably true. Yeah. <laughs> so next like, up. Yeah, I could live in Canada. It's got to be. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, okay, okay. Super Rare Watcher is probably going to be worth like hundred dollars right he's unique he's i think he'll be the first points. four digit figure basically no. <laughs> basically Get a it. 25 Get point it. leadership for cosmic teams let's wow. not waste time amazing <laughs> uh so that's pretty much it for the super rares guys is um, it worth at all mentioning president loki and his object no I we, think his object is so bad. We actually forgot so about it at the bad. beginning. Yeah. We did, yeah, because it's terrible. Because yeah, it's garbage. It's, it's not bad. very good. Yeah, it's bad. Taking a costed action to get prob, I mean, with if how it easy been, it is to get prob. Like every other object, if it had been like, if you already have this, you get to move like X squares for free or something like that. It, really it would have been good. Been phase and teleport, like free roll D6 phase. Yeah. Like it would have been great. Yeah. That that really would be, would. That'd be They missed yeah, the mark very on that useful. one. The prob is also like... A prob that I can only access through a costed action is bad prob. Yeah, exactly. It is, yeah. It's always bad prob. So the... Uh, chases. Chases, probably, chases, chases. This is probably one of the only figures where, in the, in the set, where I think it's worth looking at, like, multiples of, and that's Scarlet Witch. I'm a really big fan of her 75-point line. We won't get super into that. Uh, she does come with a Darkhold, as well as Agatha, but uh, I do think Scarlet Witch is the better of the two. Um, once again, just really strong dial, great sustain, stop click, you know, Mystics. Uh, yeah, gets power cosmic outs, later. Stop click. Avengers Initiative, which is copyable, and Mystics, mm-hmm. which isn't. But, like, she'll punish her opponents at least twice if they and hit her. And with Doctor Strange coming out and just Scarlet Witch in general, like, Scarlet Witch, when she's good, she sells well. The character is super popular and right it's, now. And, yeah, super it's, cool She's character. super hot right now and just... And if people do start playing multiples, I'm not sure. Elizabeth Olsen is like probably peak hotness, right? Oh, I mean, oh, you meant Scarlet, like the character, like the character being like, <laughs> yeah, yes, that's you're not it. wrong, yeah, yeah, that's you, yeah, thank so, you. So yeah, Sam. comes with an object. You might consider multiples. Uh, I don't think I'm personally looking at buying the chase myself, like For, day uh, one. 
For but, 150, uh, I could see the greatest hero hooks player in South Dakota buying this figure. The self proclaimed. Have you ever played against that guy? I have not. Oh, okay, no. never mind. <laughs> I've never played against myself. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm currently in, this, in South Dakota, so. Yeah, you know, you don't count. So. <laughs> uh, nah, he. Never mind. It's not, so, like, it's not worth getting into a Day about. one, what do you guys think is a fair price on Scarlet Witch? Oh, day one, if I, if I actually wanted to convince someone to sell me one day one, it would have to be 125 and that's probably on the low end of what people would get for <sighs> offers. Yeah, I mean, yeah. people are asking like 150 already it's for, a lot for I'm yeah. personally not paying that. Where I think she'll settle at, it is a, probably the 80 to 90 range. That's what we saw with Weapon Hex for a long time. And yeah. you don't see her played yeah. particularly so much. You know? What Wanda does, and this is my thing with Disney+, Plus, her and Agatha both do what Leech does for 25 points, but with a range of three and a longer dial. And that's basically, like, to sum it up, like, that's essentially getting rid of powers within three squares is cool. And they're much more likely to pull it off than Leech. Yeah. At least in my, like, the current meadow and what I consider, like, what would happen. Because Leech has to be adjacent. That's just hard to do and then follow up. Um, But because he exists, that means that they're garbage in silver. They will never be played in silver. Is there a a, uh, Scarlet Witch ID? No. Uh, I don't believe so. No, no. so like, there's definitely not an Agatha. Yeah, but there is be. a leech. I think 80 to 90. I think that's probably what you'll see her. So she'll go down to in a month or so. So, you know, if you are a fan of the character and if you, you want to pick today, her up. If you needed it today and you were going to spend over 125. Oof, yeah. It's pre- we're in pre-release, though, right now. Like, yeah, it's hard. You can't gauge everything off of this. This is just people asking. And I guess you can't blame them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next one is Agatha, which it's a similar story, Very guys. Similar, yeah. I think she'll settle a little bit lower. I could see her being like, you know, upper end, like 80, 75 around there. So a little bit lower. I see that. If the Darkhold sees a bit more play, obviously they could spike up a little bit more. But uh, I think this is a similar story to Scarlet Witch. It's just a less popular character. And in my opinion, a worse figure. So uh, yeah. if you're deciding That's between the two, it's Scarlet Witch for me. Yeah. Uh, who's next here? The next one, this is, I think, probably the most fun figure they've printed in a long time, and that is Collector. Oh. For those of you who have not checked him out, definitely do so. And even if you don't own Collector, a really fun thing for casual play is to build with his traits. You know, yeah. get your buddies. It's just cool. And then attempt to build some teams with commons, uncommons, rares, super rares, and a chase. And uh, all from different sets. It makes for some wild builds. You'll probably play some figures you haven't. But uh, I think this is a figure with competitive viability. I also think it's just a figure people will want. But he is a unique, so you're only going to need one. And uh, I think that ultimately leads to stagnation. So right now you're seeing that asking price he's, of 100 125 yeah. I don't think he's going to stay around there. He's 70 to 80 in my book. And I that's probably what I'll end up paying for him when I need to get one. I think he's probably going to stick around 70 maybe even potentially dropping lower. Just because, like... Even though he's meta, uh, him being just like a meta support piece just means he's not like as like, And it's big. such a specific build. Very too. specific build. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. does so, like, shoot all that off. A specific kind of thing. So, but, yeah, I could see him even going lower than uh, what I just said. I, there. I could see that's it a, too. That's a like, him being like 25 points. I can think of a lot of teams uh, that don't yeah. work with him. Like anything running Secret Six. Double Flash. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Later. Like, double yeah. Flash doesn't work with him. If you have Sky Tyrant and Commissioner. Uh, doesn't work with him. Like you have two chase. Well, uh, really, if you're playing Wonder Woman set. eighty, <laughs> you're yeah. probably playing multiple figures from it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. And there's not a good Secret Six common. <laughs> like, there's not. Is there a good monster common out there? Moloid. In Moloid. Yeah. Yeah. Moloid. yeah. Moloid. Like, In be... silver, it's Doctor Frank for sure. But oh, sure. I mean, I've seen silver. Oh, yeah. It opens it up He's way awesome. more support. But yeah. um, yeah. So that's about it for Collector. I think, you know, seriously, if you guys don't own him, try building with him. A ton well, of fun. The fact that he's unique, his price should drop. Yeah. Like it, it just should. Which should bring us to... The next one, uh, I know your guys' favorite, and who you pulled, Ultron <laughs> Infinity. Guys, oh, yeah, this guy, yeah. let's not mince words here. He's hot trash. He's bad. He's real bad. He looks really cool. But he's man, a really amazing his sculpt good. He's, oh, he's man. Bad. And Ultron, yeah, people love Ultron, so... I here's, think this is a figure that here's my entire collector with, with figures like this. appeal. Looking at his dial on like any kind of website where they, you can see the full dial, he obviously has a split in his dial. There's like 
There's a click where he goes from running shot to charge. It's halfway through his dial. He has four clicks of running shot, then four clicks of charge. Um, and like his, the, all of his other powers change for the most part as well. Why does he not have a half costed or less than half costed? That was a forty dial? point line. I'd be like, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's still if bad. I could get him charged, but, but <laughs> charge if that was forty perplex. points, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can get flash for thirty, so yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. Bad. Bad. I mean, yeah, it still bad. wouldn't be by top super tier standard. By top tier yeah. meta standards, yeah, it's pretty yeah. bad. No, but like meta guru. <laughs> purely for the fact that like we had two other Ultrons that are fun, super fun casually yeah. at the very least to play, and then he's a third mission point character to complete those other two mission point Ultrons. Yeah. That's going to drive him up. Ultron being a cop- popular character, that's going to drive him up. Him being just a total like boss in the one show. This is the only Ultron Infinity this is like, we'll ever have. This is purely like yeah. a fan service driving his price because his dial's not good. It's no. just, you know. You know, I want, like, I've told these guys this, and I want to say it here. Um you know, I was talking with a friend, and I said, when they previewed the sculpt, I said, I don't even care about his dial. I need to own this. Mm-hmm. And then I saw his dial, and I was like, man, <laughs> like, I yeah. don't know. Same. Like, we unboxed him, and his sculpt is so good. He's That's actually, cool. I mean, he's still good in he's sealed. He's so cool. He's a, you know, a 12 for 4, 7 range and sealed. So, like, obviously, you play your chase. But like are you both. buying him day one, Simeon? No. And so... Are you he, buying him day two? I'm, <laughs> I'm buying about him... day 10? When he... Bottoms out. Like I am, I <laughs> What's am he bottom out at, him. Simeon? Uh, this is what I'm like. I'm hoping a someday like thirty five dollars. Now here's my my out of the park. What if, if you will, <laughs> Ooh. if they so they keep talking about like mission point. Like they keep doing solicits where they say to help your mission point figures. Mm-hmm. And what they keep doing is figures that can also get mission points. Which I'm like, yes, that does help a mission points team. Nobody's really running a full mission points only team or like mission point heavy team. But yeah. if they ever do come out with like a true mission point support, like let's say they have a every time you would gain one mission point, you gain two instead. Suddenly this Ultron could potentially like gain, add plus gain one 12. to your mission point. Yeah, like you yeah, could gain doubling and, mission yeah. points. Oh, doubling mission points. No, would yeah, be absolutely insane. Uh, and they definitely won't do it. No, they're like. <laughs> I, I feel like once per turn when a friendly character gains mission points, you may double the amount of mission points that you That's still insane. That's still, that's <laughs> still yeah, wild. Hello, hello only needs but there's some support. There's some win. support that's definitely uh, needed. Something will come out yeah. in the future that will make mission points better. Right now, what the leader for mission points is really it's like Wrecker, Wrecker Prime, Wrecker right? Prime. Wrecker. And yeah. possibly Modok in the future here. I, dude, I don't think he so competes with the me, Wrecker. Though. We'll put them both on the same team. But the team, thing though. is, yeah, they can oh, both go on the totally same team. Totally going to do that. You can do with that. Watu. <laughs> with yeah. Watu. Yeah, oh, yeah. Scientist theme team works with the two, that mm-hmm. combo. Um, but no, yeah, you give Modok Red Wing. It smells like tangent in here. We need to get back to this. <laughs> <stuff. laughs> all time. right, all right. Ultron Infinity. What are you guys 120 thinking? 120 bucks right now. Oh. Oh, man. Maybe no. more. You'd be willing to sell it or buy for 100 Oh, I think he's going to go for around 120 oh, yeah, 130 yeah. right now. I would would you, you would he's going to drop. He's going to drop hard. Like he's going to probably stick around 70, though. I would yeah. stick around 70. I think 70, I was gonna say, I don't just because he he's Ultron. Just because he's Ultron. Yeah. I would absolutely sell it if I pulled it. Yeah. Because this is the highest. Sell movie. this figure. This is the figure to sell This early. is not Super or Flash. He's not going to eventually go for, like, 200. He's not going to no. change enough. He's always going to be over one-third of the build. He's always going to be a 19 impervious at best. So, like, you mm-hmm. got to equip him to make him, like, there's, yeah, he's not going up in price. No. Not Guys, if you pull him, try and get rid of him. That's that's really what it is. And if you like Ultron, wait a couple months. Should be able to snag him for a yeah. lot less. Uh, the next one, the hottest figure in the set, the most talked about figure, you know, the apparently, you know, the best figure in the game, possibly. Right now, yeah. The Sicarian Iron Man. Oh, I thought you were talking about Gamora's so, daughter, Thanos. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're on to Captain America. Yeah. No, we don't uh-huh. need to uh, go into what makes this guy so good. Everyone has talked about this guy endlessly. I mean, if He's, you want to find out what makes yeah. him good, it's it's easy enough to Stupid, do. Stupid, cheap, don't die, pick a power. Like With big damage. Those three, yeah. those three combos. Like, you and don't great really keywords. Need more. Celebrity, hello. Scientist, hello. True. Spider-Man powers, family. Yeah. Mil- you know, Right. Like Avengers swap. Whatever you want to do with him. What are his you downsides? Do there, I don't think there are. I mean, poison. Sure. Yes. That's correct. I will say, yeah, without a reducer, poison yeah. does, yeah. I mean, he's 50 um, points, though. Like What What one of his downsides for like, price-wise is, one, he comes in the god pack like Ultron. Yeah. Two, sure. he's unique like Ultron. 
So there people will, be, will hoard this figure. There will be more of him, right? and there will I be less so. reason to have more than he's one. He's the hottest figure I, in the I think set. He, I think he people only goes will up. Hoard this, item. but I, but I will say I think he's I think he's going to start super high, like one fifty ish to higher right I'll now. Say, yeah. he's gonna start I don't super think he's going to stick around one fifty ish to higher. I don't though. see it either. You know, you you look at somebody like Sky Tyrant, where one of the most popular figures in the meta yeah. for a while. He never really peaked above a hundred dollars, and it was and mainly eighty he to wasn't ninety. Unique, yeah. You can run two sky. It's like yeah. some teams do run two sky tyrants. No, yeah. and it's not, not a great success. It's not well, no, but no. it's not. It's not <laughs> terrible. I mean, you can't run two of these. You can only run one. I will say, like some podcasts have built him up a little bit more than he probably should be for like his Agreed, keywords, yeah. And that might drive his price up immediately. And then, I mean, yeah, he's gonna have to dip eventually. But I think that dip will be short-lived because once everyone that wants one has one, once everyone that thinks they need one has one, there will be no more of the set. Eventually, at some point, this set will be, like, run dry. And he'll be a locked-up figure. And I don't want to get rid of Sky Tyrant, you know? Like, no, no. I don't want to get rid of Commissioner. I sold a Scarab, like, when I first bought my I don't want to get rid of Scarab. And yeah. I haven't yeah. gotten another one. Even though no one, like, plays yeah. Scarab. Like, yeah, I still want to get rid of yeah, it. Yeah, I still, it's like, what if that object comes yeah. out? Well, yeah. <laughs> one day. <laughs> this all just goes to, like, celebrity's an amazing keyword. Iron Man's a great keyword for celebrity. And he's just an amazing figure. Yeah. Like, period. So, uh, I also say his sculpt tells him out, too. His sculpt is dope. Like, even though he's, like, the character in the set, him and Gamora, like, we literally have no idea what they're about, like, whatsoever. Like, we can guess that he probably just ended up on Well, he's car. worked on scraps before. Yeah, he's, he can build things out his of, like, damage uh, power smartest is man smartest on the man in... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's perplex outwit, which is the same thing as Darcy Lewis's special. Yeah. Yes. So, that's what that... So, she's the smartest woman. Obviously. I well, believe yeah. is what that or, equates. Or, I mean, maybe she's an average woman and just men are real dumb. In I mean, MCU. dang. I don't know. Dang. What does that say, though? Smartest man on any planet, same power as a, like, 15 point That's, like, whatever point point her is. Yeah. What is she? Yeah, like that's, point point that's a good point. Biggest girl in any room or whatever. Okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, you know, if you guys are looking at playing competitively, this might be that figure that you have to pick up right away. And uh, the price tag you'll probably see for that, you know, it's definitely upwards of 100 I think, like, 150 Yeah. 125 Like, that someone's, might even be low. Someone's trying to sell know? them right now for $200. If you want to take this And it might, it might sell. Go. That's the thing, is, like, if you want to be... If you want to compete... If you don't want to run... This is the um, figure you're looking at. Thanos at Nationals. You're going to need some Disney+. Plus. You're going to need some, like, wild card stuff. And it's probably this guy. And it's, yeah, it's probably Sicarian Iron Man. Like, to be fair, it's probably not Collector... It's definitely not Loki, Gamora. It's not Ultron Infinity. Um, it might be Scarlet Witch. It's not Agatha. There's like about Nobody's three in chases. this guy's class. There's about three chases that <laughs> not even you close. could put against like Thanos. So for those of you who are going to need him for that competitive scene early, you know, you might get gouged a little here. But uh, for That's, those of you who yeah, want you to wait. you take it on the chin if you're going to do that. It's going to be a, it might be a long, painful wait to yeah, uh to get to this guy yeah. it's gonna be a, it might be a bit it's to secure him so secure the sicarian yeah if you just really like uh tony and his multicolored mech suit of like dreams if or you're just a fan of the character yeah I, i'm for sorry reason you like, got the best dial yeah you, yeah you'll gotta <laughs> you're gonna have to wait for quite a while because that's the thing mm -hmm. looking back to silver this guy's stupid good in silver yeah, pick a power is how never, relevant that is. I guess we'll see. That's another thing. Like, pick a power only gets better with the X of Swords tarot cards. There's so many tarot cards where it's like, oh, I drew this one oh, this yeah. turn. Very that true. is that is worth Good noting. Thing Absolutely. I, can just pick I don't think this anybody's power. mentioned that. No. Honestly, I mean, uh, people have talked about like how pick a power with tarot cards is good, but pick a power is always good. Like Franklin's always good. I mean, he's the only real pick a power that's actually worth playing, in my opinion. And Iron moment. Man, obviously, but yeah. Well, yeah. but yeah, also this Iron Man. Oh, but uh, like up until this Iron Man, it was pretty much just Franklin, in my opinion. Um, but no, like, yeah, tarot cards plus pick a power is definitely like a meta staple. Uh, this guy will it's gonna be, be a long wait, guys. It's gonna be a minute, it's gonna be a long wait. It yeah. might, I mean, and you're gonna have to shell out like where this guy's settling at. It could be, like I don't a doubt it's a hundred dollars. I don't doubt it's 110. Like, this guy could be expensive. Yeah. For a while. So, yeah. if, if that episode comes out, or maybe like two of the episodes with Sakaria, like Iron Man and Gamora come out, 
and they're just like real bangers, and people are like, oh, wow, the best Tony I've ever go seen. I have to have yeah. them. Yeah. I already had to, it's, but now I have to. It's crazy how things like that happen, where it's like media influences it so bad. Like, if this set yeah. had actually come out before Multiverse of Madness, we would have probably seen a spike, like, if it was out for a month, a spike once Multiverse of Madness comes out for, like, Scarlet Witch or something. Be like, oh, yeah. now be like, oh, no, it's I like, really I gotta, gotta play. I gotta play the best version of yeah, it. Yeah, my know, team. The Same mean version like, of her. I don't think of any other oh, characters in the set that I won't mention because I don't want to get in spoilers. But yeah, yeah, like they probably also would have jumped. You know, yeah. Speaking of spoilers, we did a spoiler filled episode. Oh, you're right on our Patreon. On our Patreon, if you want to join the Patreon, you can go to patreoncom slash for hero clips. <laughs> if you join for as little as one dollar a month, you really help us out. If you've noticed, our production quality is super high. Uh, it's 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 really it's really gone up as I motion around the room. You guys can't see, but uh, it, it's pretty amazing. It looks pretty incredible in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, check out the Facebook page. You can like see you can see it space room like like I'm about to the like, lights are nice and we use some astronaut. next level technology to soundproof this yeah. room uh, but yeah guys seriously if you want to support the podcast we do monthly giveaways we have awesome bystander tokens and stickers that we give away too I think this is like the most bang for your buck that you get on us like any Patreon the amount of stuff you're getting it's it's pretty dang awesome. It's pretty fantastic. And it supports us. So if you want to see videos early, if you want to see cool posts, if you want to be in on uh, special giveaways, and we will be giving away some Disney stuff. want to help stuff. out when I run out of gas on the highway. Yeah, that'd be also pretty great. That yeah. was pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Patreon books did help. Yeah, that was did. really cool. That was pretty dope. <laughs> I loved paying $25 for a gas canister. Well, like a three-gallon gas canister? Yeah. Is the only one there too, guys? So uh, to go Ian, into that, yeah, I hate to say this to, to go back to this, but did we tell you that like Simeon's car said we were at zero miles an hour for the last five oh, yeah. miles after we put? The, yeah, no, after you we guys put were gas saying, in. "Oh, we we might need you to do this," and then that turned into, "Yeah, go to the gas station <laughs> so, yeah. and fill up a water bottle." I'm like, "Huh? <laughs> I'm not what?" I had to do that. that. That happened pretty quickly. But yeah, after it was like filled up and we were driving to the Vermilion exit, we were like, oh, it doesn't my say car, we have more yeah. miles. When For I some fill reason, my car the computer up, isn't like it normally corrects itself, fills like it fills the little bar of like how many gallons I have, and then it tells me like a digital readout of how far it thinks I can go. Well true. it never updated that after I put approximately a gallon and a half in there. And so it just said four, and then as we're heading to Vermilion, it was four, three, two, <laughs> one. Zero, and then it stayed at zero for about five miles, and we were both like, "Oh God!" <laughs> like, we were what freaking is going out, dude. On? I was like, "If uh, it hits negative, I swear it's I gonna think, roll uh, backwards to 999, and I'm gonna have infinite gas unlocked." <laughs> infinite gas hack unlocked. He really, we figured it out. Uh, no, but that is the Disney Plus set. There's obviously There's a lot. one more. Simeon's pretty big on him. Oh. The Chase Captain America. Oh, let's you're just, right, Simeon. Simeon is... Let's give you the floor. Yeah, Give so, us your thoughts on him. What's up with him? Man, I love boat parts. I love um, the captains. boat parts. I love captains of boats. I love people with double equips that I can swap out for better figures. Avengers. And so, yeah, I'm thinking about playing him at, let's see, what's the cheapest? 50, 50 points. Yeah. So that I can have. Cut me really deep right now. Two unpaid for objects dropped. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty nice. 15, 15 free points of objects. A free that's Red Wing good. and a free Soldier Serum. Which we didn't talk about, but that's shield. willpower. Shield. Oh, it's a shield. Yeah. No, oh, it's sorry, Falcon's sorry. not used up. Yeah. Excuse me. ESD. Yeah. yeah he's um, he's natty. He's natty. Yeah, he's a little <laughs> natty chicken patty. Yeah, that's why he took so long building that boat. Um, honestly, for fifty points, solid figure. If he had a stop click, and I know that sounds, I do wish stupid, dude. If I hate like that's just that. high level. I mean, that's what it comes. But down also, to. like, if yeah. you can get picked off by well, one like, attack, high like, Evo for what, like. 30. 30 with a stop click and, and essentially the same dial. An invincible super sensor, cosmic energy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, prime high evo. Oh my! Like, but no, if, if Avengers swap gets better and like, let's face it, we have Avengers Forever, which might have some Avengers in it. Coming losing out. Steve Rogers from Captain America Avengers hurts a lot. That's that does. That yeah. hurts a lot. I mean, losing a lot of those objects hurts. Does and like a lot of those figures, but. Is that like, the only reason you're looking at him though? Is just to drop equipment, or are you are you looking at playing him on other dials? I, I know Calder. See, I want so, to play him at 125 really badly, and like it's fun at 125. I think he's super fun at 125. Five. I really, Ow, I would man. kill. If this he guy's had, natty. Uh, 
If he, yeah, right. <laughs> sure. Are you are you sure about what this? other cap is hitting this hard? Is there? There is no Steve Rogers that hits thirteen for five, not juiced up. No way, I mean? right? Like it just doesn't. Like, so, well, like, U.S. agent's probably the closest. U.S. agent is the closest. He's Twelve for four. Twelve for four. Yeah, yeah. That is oh. like top. So yeah. like, I don't know why they juiced Falcon ups like so bad. I would prefer a more like consistent and not as high valued dial because like agreed. his like seventy five point line going to charge with ESD or his hypersonic. Yeah, you have like super ESD. rare with charge willpower yeah. and running shot too if you're installed. Mm-hmm. And then this with what hypersonic ESD? It's like and, yeah, and it's like dang, dude. What I happened it, to your so suit much. from yeah. one twenty five to seventy five, where you had invincible, absolutely shredded, yeah. and I now really you're wish, safe from range. Simply like not <laughs> making him have like leadership and giving him like invulnerability and close combat expert for seventy five points, so he's yeah. at least a twelve for four. Just would have made him so much better. And mm-hmm. like in my opinion, like I would actually super super try to build with that. With, I mean, with hypersonic yeah. and the cap shield, though, he is a twenty one. He's twenty one naturally from range. And, he's and got, then somebody walks up and punches him. And, yeah. Who and, is and he? One shot. Who is well, he Well, I now? mean, somebody, <laughs> to be honest, somebody outwits him and then punches him. And now all of a sudden he's an ESD plus. He's like a special ESD. He just falls off just, so hard and yeah. it's like staggering, you know. Like you can really tell his point lines. He runs into, into that same problem that I would say the Prime Vision runs into where he's like, dang, once he's off those invincible clicks, you're yeah. like, I beat 125 points for this? Sheesh. So you really, you got to mm-hmm. pop off early with him or you're going to yeah. get popped. Or basically. like just be somehow super defensive, like, you know, some sort yeah. of like crazy. He does barrier. have the traded defend. That's yeah. nice. Which yeah. is nice, but yeah, like, you know, when you have an 18, how much does that matter now? The average I mean, defense is around 18. He so is 19 a, top, but, like, yeah. Like yeah, I'm said, saying when you fall off. There's, you, there's yeah, a lot you can do with him. Uh, what are we saying his price wise, though? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm seeing on Facebook he's around 100. Right? Yeah. But post imagine. release, like you know, honestly, really, well, only only way I'm seeing him yeah. played competitively is what Simeon's saying. Yeah, where you're swapping yeah. him out at fifty. He can honestly go down. To and Avengers bucks. has to be relevant for that to be true. Yeah. How I relevant is Avengers? People have tried. I personally haven't seen anything that blows me away yet. So Do we get until any I see that named keyword more than Avengers though. Avengers is like the X-Men. highest. Well, X Men. I I don't know. Even with X Men, because X Men sets are usually split: Brotherhood, X Men. Uh, like random stuff in an Avengers set, everyone like even Wolverine gets an Avengers keyword. It's true. Like even Kate Pride gets an Avengers keyword. Like so many people get the Avengers keyword. Um, I just haven't I seen the like, carry for Avengers yet. Like you know, no, there's not like Fantastic the Four has the Franklin X Men and had, Brotherhood both have the Prime option Vision of Venom Magneto. You know, if Prime Vision had the Avengers keyword for Made whatever it. reason, he would have been like it would have been like super easy it's like yeah. i can swap into this if need be if it's not like an ideal matchup i can swap like not into this but maybe no, on I, a partial swap i could see this being a lot better but uh as red far wing, as a full avengers team goes red wing being a free bystander that like anyone can equip and drop um the shield just adding at the very least esd i mean and and additionally plus one if you already have esd which i don't see that popping up very much but just esd alone uh, if you've got like some defend and some other random stuff, I feel like with Avenger swap, like there's always going to be more Avengers. We probably have that super rare cap from what was that Empire? I suppose Scarlet Witch would probably be the best like Avengers carry yeah. right now. I take back my words. That's uh, pretty because solid. Simeon offended me so much. Uh, right now we have 309 Avengers in modern. We have 394 oh, wow. X Men in modern. So there you go. Watch your mouth. There you go. Wow. Yeah. Got and that's him. not even counting like what she are and uh, that is that after Illuminati is that too? after like a month from now? Uh, when no, it's rotation not after rotation. Happens. This is like based on like what HC Realms is calling modern too. So like take that. Well, they're both losing a considerable amount. So. Yeah. They yeah, ABPI uh, cap cap in the if Avengers. If X Men didn't have more options, I would be very surprised. Yeah, X Men um, just has much yeah. better primes. But I will say, I think that this Captain America chase will go up in price at some point. I think that he'll just become more viable over time. I'm not saying buy him on release, but I will say uh, a few months from now. Release. Yeah, don't don't, don't buy, buy this guy on release. Well, percent don't. He buy doesn't him come with either no. equipment either, which is like no, but another if you reason. Already have him, ah. If you already have the equipment, this guy's so good. Like, even just for 50 points, if he dies, I, mean, I get to make a bystander, and I've got, like, a 20 from range. Okay, and... well, like, like, I just want to break this down quick. So you're talking about swapping him out. The super rare Captain America from Empire. Not necessarily. If I keep him in for 50. 
I mean, I'm on paying Avengers. 50 points for so Running shot, many pen blast, super things. senses, three clicks of life. I don't know about that one, Simeon. Like, realistically, plus you're... Plus drop a bystander that has outwit, hypersonic. Strike, sure. Uh, plus sure. I'm, sure. like, a 19 from range. I mean, like, it's it's not great. It's not bad, but it's not... But it's not... also not unique. It's also, like, what if I, if I play three of these and swap... Well, I can't swap all three of them. Yeah. But if I play... <laughs> if I play, Good job. you know... Two of these. And I'm glad he came to that realization. Two of them out. There you go. Oh, he's so, named <laughs> Captain America, too. Yeah, yeah, so if Captain you wanted America. to swap out... You can't swap out the super... Yeah. I just realized no. that, yeah. That's rough. That is... That means yeah, guys, make the 40 point stay super. away from this guy. This was entirely too long. Yeah, we talked... Wait, I knew that was going to fall down. All right, anyways. Um, let's go ahead and jump into... Because uh, I'm done. Yeah, the I'm conversation. Good. I knew it was going to fall down. Yeah, right? I really knew yeah, it was Not our studio. <laughs> Definitely not. We're too high quality Way too high quality. Way too high dollar. Having Simeon here... Let's go ahead. Conversation's always gone. Ian, if you want to wrap this segment up with a little bow, I've got really nothing else I want to say. I think we had a great conversation. Well, I think it'd be nice to just go around the table and say, like, personally, you know, even if we didn't talk talk about them today, like, what are your top three figures that you're just either excited to play, excited to pick up? Uh, I'll start us off. Um, You know, Collector is my number one. I've been building with him. Really excited. I think he's a lot of fun. Number two is just the standard Super Rare Vision. I think he's really cool. I think he'll have some use cases. And, uh, you know, I think he's, like, fringe meta, but I think he's also going to be pretty fun for just, like, casual play. And then number three, I, I have to say, is it's probably the Sicarian Iron Man. I mean, he looks really cool. He's so viable. And, like, man, I know I'm going to have to own one at some point. So I'll be one of those people waiting, and hopefully yeah. time treats me well there. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Simeon? Uh, so... I'll say you remember Hellcow, how like she oh, dropped, yeah, from she Deadpool? dropped in price super low. Like she was like one of the most unusable super rares. Yeah, um, I had two of her. She was fun. I used to pick up Hellcows in like every random trade I could get. Love Bessie, and I would like pick anytime I saw her for like ten bucks or less. I would pick one up. I had one at one point six of them. Oh wow! And I will say starting to farm. Yeah, at one point, like I yeah. That comic is also great. I can't remember the name of it, but the one with Hellcow in right. it is Which really it's really her funny. Cape and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I will say one of the figures we didn't talk about that I would love to get a ton of multiples. Is the zero four five Loki sixty five point alligator, alligator Loki? Ah, he can yeah, yeah. he can start with a tesseract, but I don't really care about that because he's already got move and attack. He's got charge, flurry, stealth. He's got better than stealth dolphin symbol. He's got shape change. Um, I'm not going to get into the rest of his dial, but he feels like a hell cow for me, where I just oh, yeah, want sure. multiples. And I've seen like multiple people like really loved that character on like it's. It's kind of like an iconic, like a mascot, if you will, of the Loki series. Definitely. Because he didn't have any lines. He just like gurgled and like crawled around and stuff. And they'd be like, oh, he says blah, blah, blah. And like, you know, whatever. But I feel like he will hold value because like so many people liked that character. Whereas Hellcow, you actually had to read comics to care about that character. Um or you could just be like, huh, funny vampire cow. Yeah, vampire, you know, which was what I did. It's, yeah. it's Loki, but it, it's an alligator. It's an alligator. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, Who are your other two? <laughs> uh, so that's that's my main one that I want multiples of, but I'm not willing to pay. Again, I'm going to like $10, maybe 15 mostly want to trade for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he could Obviously, be Obviously, so... Maybe worth checking out, guys. Not, I still don't think a day one buy, but... No. Uh, no. No, he will drop in price. He's he not drop. He's not viable in but most he is, circumstances. He is a like a meme character, and you know he Hero is. Clicks players Collectible, love their memes. Collectability-wise, he's cool. He's there. Um, got a little hat. Uh, I'm going to try and collect all of the uh, spooktacular characters, which means yeah, Agnes is definitely on the list. She's a character that's going to be hard to get because she's a super rare, which is like harder than the rest of them. At most, they're all rares. Most of them are, like, common and uncommon and stuff. Yeah. So she's the hardest out of the spooktacular to get. She's also potentially just the best. She has Mastermind with her own bystander she can generate. So that one's really solid. And then the figure that I'd want to get the most out of the set is probably, for me, it's Scarlet Witch. Like, hex marker. So, like, I look at Leech and I look at hex marker. She's really cool. Really, really cool. And I'm like, for 75 points... If it's not a matchup that she can really do a whole lot in, and I think Hex Marker really fails with, you know, like X Men Swab or something, where it's like they've got like six characters. 
I think it fails with that because they outrange that three squares and there's just so many of them that they can take her down quickly. Um, whereas Thanos, it's like just Thanos. And I don't know if it actually works against them. I don't really care. But it's just a cool power. Really cool, really accurate to the show, too. Yeah, yeah. Really accurate. I mean, like, blast the, like, the weird bubble I made. And then, like, you know, Agatha's like, oh, you missed me so many times. And Scarlet Witch is like, look oh, around. Oh, yeah? I learned about runes. <laughs> some old Rune. some old lady <laughs> told me about them. And Agatha's like, you called me old. Oh, my powers. Yeah. And then Scarlet Witch <laughs> went him. on to murder people. Mm-hmm. Um, especially your own kids. <laughs> Spoilers. I her, which three Captain Americas? Yes, <laughs> you're not wrong. All these figures can equip a shield. Uh, the nice, first nice. one is U.S. Agent, obviously. Uh, he's like the figure I'm most excited for, like, period. I, I spent 80 bucks on. Another the, figure that's the just AG. so cool. Uh, dude, he's just so awesome. I wish you could call him in with an ID card or something, but uh, uh, that's all right. No, mm. I'm just kidding. I really don't care about that whatsoever. <laughs> uh, I'm, just, I'm just stoked. I, I will play the heck out of the U.S. Agent figure. So he is, I mean, obviously I bought him if before day one even happened. Uh, and then, you want to see magic tricks in you? Uh, then there's Sam Cap. I like Sam Cap. I've already gotten to be able like to play like the common one or whatever, so I'm just juicing. Like I want to play the Chase Sam Cap so bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it's Prime Peggy. I just want. There's so many team builds yeah. going out of my head. I love Shield as a keyword. Like already, I love Soldier as a keyword. And then you're like, we, she really she get the glue for all of that too. You know, it's also, so oh yeah, that so leadership good. free Absolutely. use Shield for free. That yeah. could be nasty. That's dope. Two no, really man. good copyable team abilities at 35. Yeah. She's a good prime. Yeah. I think, question. am I wrong? Did they update shield team ability? Nope. No. It's been the same. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I thought at Plus one point one range that, and power action. I thought at one point she was a character power action and then moved away at like stop work. Oh, uh, no. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe in it, the very early days. Maybe it did, but okay. now it doesn't. I'm yeah, pretty sure so the much. plus one range was an addition at some point. I could Might be off on that. But you've always been able to do the power action. Yeah, yeah, so, but uh, for yeah, da- for the plus one damage, shield is like in a world where we can't perplex damage. Shield is cool. Shield is pretty awesome. So also just the those plus the range. Those are my biggest ones. They're shield bearers. Super excited for that that prime Peggy. Um, and honestly, to kind of use her, we forgot about this guy. But obviously, starter set Watu. Uh, oh yeah, to get yeah. like a quick shout Worth out. Worth chatting about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So very like, briefly, obviously, like might receive an errata. Well, I think one thing we missed is just like the watchers we're talking about in the starter set, though. Like, oh, absolutely. You want to talk about starter set? It's got like ten figures in it. There's like one. There's like a standout figure. Like we always kind of say this about starters, but like in recent memory, this is just one hundred percent absolutely. What true. makes him stand out, Calder? What makes him stand out? Wow, G Golly Willikers, you sure got me. No, he's got a 20 defend, a 19 defend. He's got a dial that he can choose to go back and forth anytime. Yeah. You can deal him five clicks of damage one turn if you don't one-shot him, then, like, guess what? And the goes. Mystics, too. And the Mystics, yeah. Mystics, too. He gets to see through everything, so it's like, Sees oh, I can outwit you. I can perplex you. I can TK you to there. Can TK through wall. Like, so he can't TK friendly characters through walls, but he can see through a wall TK a friendly character to break them so they don't have to break yeah. away. That's big. Worth yeah. noting, he's Outwitting not a flyer, a wall, though. So that, like, yeah, that's can't super be weird. I guess the Mesa one isn't flyer either, though. Is he not? He's not power cosmic, right? No, I feel he, like he's not power cosmic. Yeah, yeah, he's not power cosmic. So, like, but the other thing is, he can outwit through a wall, and they can't outwit him back. Yeah, most of the time. It's gnarly. So, like, that, you combine that with, like, a five-point object that, like, gives you defend. Or if you already have defend, you get a modified adjacent player's plus one defense for, like, a 21 defend. Or just mm. a 20 if you want to be slightly safer in, like, a mega or whatever world. You're getting a lot of utility. There's from tons. Them, sure. There's so much from them. And then everybody else in that starter set, <laughs> you can pick them up for, like, 20 bucks probably. Almost like, yeah, an unkillable left. mystics. I you equip know? him with stones of Merlin. And suddenly he's, he's like... Well, yeah, that too. Give him a reducer. Almost an unkillable mystics. You know? like, if he's the last <laughs> figure on my team, it's like, I'm just going to keep clicking him and you're eventually going to die. <laughs> Give him damage. a full dial of Invincible. Uh, At yeah. that point, I'm just saying, like, hey, dude, I that's don't care what you do with him. I'm not attacking. I'm not going to no. attack yeah, him. I'm not going to bother. That's like 50 points. I just, I'm not going to kill. So what, yeah, not, a unless I, like, Man, pulse wave him when he's on click. There's some good don't die tech. Yeah. Like, what if set. There's I a love lot. It. Marvel Studios, Disney Plus, baby. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's the watcher. That's Marvel Studios, Disney Plus. I will Plus. say if one you guys... other thing about the starter. The sculpts are cool. Sculpts are worth so collecting. Like that's the one thing. If you're not buying into the main we've, set. We've got super yeah. rare sculpts. We've got some other sculpts. They're just thrown in there. And that's what I love yeah. about these like starter mm-hmm. sets. Where it's like, I like Hydra Stomper a lot. I'm probably going to get the normal version eventually. But like, I, you know, the starter set one is like easy to get. And it's a dope looking sculpt. You know? Both dials are awful. Oh, they're, they're absolutely terrible. It's, yeah. it's for the sculpt. <laughs> but like, if you just want a cool looking like 
big robot man sculpts. He looks really you cool. You can probably pick up like no five question. bucks, and maybe even less from the starter. Like $2 yeah. like starter figures. Like I said, you can probably get them all for 20 bucks after Watcher's gone. You know, or if like if you just want all of them and you want to just kind of pay for your starter, you can sell Watcher. You know, you don't yeah. care about them. Like do that. There too. will definitely be buyers almost, for Watcher. It'll yeah. almost be worth the same value as the full starter. Yeah, if I was I selling my watcher, I'd be like, well, I want what I paid for he, him because I bought this one for him. Yeah. I see going up, potentially. Yeah. I, I see him sticking around like 40 it. to 50 if or so right him. now. But if he they can, don't fix him, go he's up. Like, for sure, dude. Nuts. One thing worth noting about him, the one drawback I really see with him is that his keywords are only Cosmic and Herald. But other than that, a stellar figure, guys. And Cosmic sucks. Yeah, Cosmic's pretty terrible. If you play Cosmic, you should probably, like, just stop playing Heroclix and just quit forever. <laughs> um, but now we talked a really long time about this, and I love the discussion, so I apologize to Malcolm I hope Rush, you guys enjoyed to it, too. Yeah. Uh, I apologize to everybody that asked us questions on Discord. I apologize to Malcolm. Uh, we're not going to get to questions this week because we just had a huge, long episode. We'll see if we can get to questions next week. Honestly, probably not. Simi and I will probably do a full, like, in-depth ish set review where we talk again for like three freaking hours about a set or something something nuts like that but um yeah guys let me know if you enjoyed it uh because i know i certainly did we're going to be letting you go here uh like always we mentioned join our patreon if you want to ask us questions you know the ones we're not answering this week you can do so by following us on facebook twitter and if you want to join our discord you obviously have to join patreon in order to do that uh but yeah guys super appreciate any questions you have for the show and we will typically eventually get around to them and answer them so Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for watching. I will say that, listening. I will say this, though. Stay tuned to the YouTube channel. We did a please, ton of please awesome stay stuff. stay tuned. Like, there's so much cool it's stuff coming goofy. down the pipeline. What was that? It's going to be goofy. It's going to be goofy. We're kind of goofy goobers or whatever. Yeah. But seriously, the YouTube channel is going to be some of like, the coolest Heroclix content. And I, hot take, we make some of the best Heroclix content on YouTube. Oh, I, I hate, like, I hate to say it. We make the most unique Heroclix content. Oh, that is like, just true, 100%. Yeah, I, I, I don't even want to like conflate myself and be like, oh, we're so good. But like quite literally, we do things that no other channel has done. Yeah. And like, they refuse to do after I've like harassed them about trying to. We, we are getting great, number one, weekly gameplay videos. If they're quick and dirty ones that I film like at casual nights with very little editing, it's just like boom, like boom. There's a gameplay video right there. Then we have our gameplay videos that we obviously did pre-release stuff with Disney Plus when Simi and I got the brick. Ian helped us out with the editing for all of those. We've got face cams. You know, we have the dials popping on screen. Like if you want awesome like Heroclix gameplay that's super easy and feels like you're playing or like watching someone play a Heroclix game. pretty informative too. Very informative, yeah. yeah. Like with new products and everything, check that out. If you guys want to learn about more about hero hooks we have some very informative like videos coming up and if you just want to like uh actually like laugh and not take things too seriously we have some hilarious sketches and videos coming up that i'm super excited for everybody to see so seriously subscribe to the youtube channel you don't have to hit the notification button you don't have to do whatever just like please subscribe to the youtube channel like just to stay like it means a lot slightly updated we yeah, put a lot of effort into this stuff like uh i looked at the metrics and only half of you viewers are subscribed <laughs> What's and, that uh, about, huh? YouTube. What's I can with buy, that? I can buy YouTube Premium, and it'll let me find you. It'll <laughs> let me find you, people that haven't subscribed. We are going to start doxing subs. <laughs> Anyways, guys. <laughs> I'm Anyways, kidding. I really appreciate Anyone listening? all of our views. Uh, you know, regardless of whether you're subscribed or not, it'd be cool if you did. You don't necessarily have to watch every video, but obviously seeing our new videos is going to be helpful. Seeing our new podcast is going to be helpful. If you get a notification that, hey, we dropped a new podcast, then you know it's on Stitcher, it's on Spotify, it's on all of the things that we're on. Speaking of things that we're on, have you seen that cool stuff Twitter? We're always being on oh, that. Oh, yeah, I have. Yeah. So we did a lot of talking about how to invest in Disney Plus tonight. We talked about the cool figures. Uh, we talked about, like, hey, but what if a website splits up that starter and you can just snatch that Uatu, like, right off the bat? That'd be nuts if some wacky website did that. Speaking of things like that, oh, Dial H is sponsored by CoolStuffInc.com. Are they really? Yeah, the number one purveyor of good HeroClix provider. Like, well, no purveyor. They they purvey us. We are their purveyation. <laughs> okay, uh, so continue. Cool Stuff Inc. The number one is that. <laughs> are you looking up if that's a word? It might be a word. Purveyor's a word. It is a word. <laughs> I don't know how it's supposed to be used <laughs> for all future time. Or wait, what? Oh, it auto-corrected to forever. Ah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so, no, Cool Stuff Inc. sponsors us, and we appreciate it. We sponsor them by giving you code 
Dial 5, which will get you 5% off of all purchases, including you can still pre-order. Disney Plus isn't quite out yet. You can still pre-order cases, bricks, uh, the token pack, the play-at-home kit, the starter set. You can pre-purchase all of that still. Mm -hmm. And then their singles usually go live about... I don't know, almost the day of, but sometimes it's like the day after. You just kind of really got to watch that week. And you can snag up some singles for cheaper than what we've been talking about sometimes. It just depends. Uh, but yeah, check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Happy trails. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional. Hero clicks. No. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like the hundred? Instant deadpan humor. Over oh, okay. six yeah. people yeah. think I am funny. It's the hard day's work. Not that you know anything about that. Which you absolute fools? It's not Witcher nonsense. I'm gonna make hero clicks like that forever. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey Google, attack someone. Let's attack Simeon because he's a jerk. Happy trails.